Matt lied under penalty of perjury. Joe just went over the whole thing with me. Um, it has boxes you check. Is there a health care proxy? Okay. And she wrote no. When I damn well was still the health care proxy. You can't, as far as I know, I'll have to talk to a free attorney, but my mom locked up in a mental hospital, sectioned against her will. She can't. I don't think you can change anything like that while you're locked up in a mental hospital. I wouldn't think you could. I could find out, though. A regular hospital? Yeah. But a mental hospital section against your will inside of a mental hospital? I don't think you're allowed to change your health care proxy when you're in that situation. I don't care if you've been deemed incompetent or not. Like I said, people go into mental hospitals out of their minds. All right? In the regular hospital, my mom had been eating toilet paper. Is that someone in her right frame of mind? No. You don't go into a mental hospital and you don't automatically get committed and they, they don't invoke the health care proxy. Most of the time, you know, they, their person is still deemed competent while inside of a mental hospital. That doesn't mean they have the, they're, they're in the right frame of mind to change that. You know what I mean? All right, stop it. She checked off that there was no health care proxy. And that was not even remotely true. I was the health care proxy. So there we have one lie, okay? There's something, he, apparently what they sent out wasn't even printed. It was handwritten. I'm like, Joe can even read it. I'm like, that's all handwritten? He's like, yeah, that's ridiculous. Me, because it was all done in an emergency thing, I don't know. But that's an outright lie, as you guys know. Not only was I the health care proxy, but my aunt had recently told me she didn't want to be the health care proxy anymore. Didn't even want to be the alternate, okay? So there we have a lie. But again, what Joe says, because your aunt is trying to force an outcome, people who are trying to force, uh, trying to force an outcome, you know, doing this on an emergency basis, are going to slant the truth. They're not going to say the whole truth, Okay? It starts off like limited conservator or something. Common law guardian has more flexible authority. Oh, Joe just looked up stuff in Black's, Black's um, dictionary for me. That's what the lawyers use. Um, common law guardian has more flexible authority than a guardian, including the same investment powers that a trustee enjoys. And then he wrote down something, whatever this means. He told me to look it up. I don't know. It's just a GLC 190 Baker dash S dash I don't know. Oh, by the way, same fucking judge. Remember, I told you last time around we had three different judges. The same judge, the 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 very last time, okay, is who was is the judge on this? <laughs> and it's a guy. I wonder if he remembered from before. Who knows? Maybe. So, no health care proxy. That's a lie. Apparently, maybe she she got a med. Remember last time the elder service didn't have a medical certificate. We have to bear in mind always, you know. All this took place while my mom is locked up, sectioned against her will inside of a mental hospital and blaming me simply because I got her the help she needed. Okay, I just want you to never forget that. This didn't all take place while my mom is outside the hospital. And then it just asks about bank accounts, property, whatever. Nothing I'm going to tell you. Okay. He just went over this with me. Because there were the two separate things, which guardian and conservator. And then it has something, wave surety, S-U-R-E-T-Y, on bond. So Joe was going over this with me, looking up in that dictionary what these words mean, because it's all, like, he calls a lot of it Orwellian doublespeak, okay? Wave surety on bond. Wave means to forego, disregard. Surety, a person who is permanently liable for paying another's debt or performing another's obligation, bond, an obligation or a promise, written promise to pay money or do some act. 
So basically, it's Orwellian doublespeak. Forego obligation to do something for somebody, a promise or whatnot. Job refers to it as Orwellian doublespeak. And then Auntie had to, you know, write that, um, as we already know, my mom's her sister, not able to care, my mom's not able to care for herself, um, but of course, you think my aunt went and said that I'm on disability or anything like that? No. Just my mom's not safe to, or uh, not in my mom's best interest to come home because I have my own mental health issues. And again, this is up, this is out, you know, the verdict's still out on this one. That auntie is the uh, only living sibling who doesn't have um, mental health issues or who, 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 uh, Or, um, you know, because my uncle doesn't live around here. Oh, you can't steal money from a joint account, okay? Joint accounts are equal in the eyes of the law. So for my aunt to say as I already said that um, they had to put a stop on the bank account because I had threatened to, to steal all my mom's money, okay? You can't steal from a joint bank account, period. Understand? It's a contradiction in terms. A joint account is equal in the eyes of the law. Can't st I wrote that down. Can't steal money from a joint account. Joint account is equal in the eyes of the law. And Joe has given me definitions of a joint bank account. A bank account opened by two, this is in the dictionary, a bank account opened by, it's in the Blacks um, Dictionary for, for lawyers. A bank account opened by two or more people by which each party has a present right to withdraw all funds in account. This is another lie. This is a total fucking lie, okay? Lie, lie, lie. <clears throat> that my mom... <clears throat> my mom has had numerous breakdowns over the past four years. But to say she doesn't stay stable for more than six weeks at a time is an outright lie. That's a fucking bullshit lie. Remember, I have everything documented. I know exactly the time in between each hospitalization. Recently, it's been... That's an outright lie. Joe's like, I know it's a lie. You guys know it's a lie. Okay? It's a lie. Again, trying to force an outcome. It's a lie. Recently, it was that. But not over the past four years. No, not even remotely. Do you know how wild a lie that is? To say my mother never stays, remains stable for more than six weeks at a time? Bull fucking shit. Bullshit. Yeah, and like, like Joe says, what we already know. My aunt doesn't like me, we already know that, and she always wants to poison my mom against me. And these statements are blown out of proportion, fraudulent, whatever. It's not true that my mother doesn't remain stable for more than six weeks at a time, okay? She was stable for over a year at one point. I have it all documented. I have to check it. Okay? Six weeks at a time. Yeah, fuck you, auntie. I don't think so. She's acting like my mom gets sick every six weeks. I don't think so. Uh-uh. Outright lie. Fraudulent statement. Under penalty of perjury. Joe thinks slander is when you say something untrue, but I heard slander can be anything. Doesn't matter if you say what's true or not. Uh, I guess libel is if uh, you write lies in writing. Yeah, I'm not letting this stand. No way. No way. 
to sum me up like this. Meanwhile, Auntie knows damn well she's caused, called me my mom's best friend. You and Laura are best friends. She told me if anything happened to you, your mother would permanently go off the deep end and never recover. She called me a godsend to both my mother and me. Okay? She's not going to go around and turn around because our pseudo-friendship ended because I was expressing genuine concern over her over-medicated sister being back in the same fucking hospital where she, you know... Um, that my mom needs to be protected from verbal abuse and financial exploitation from me. Like, I'm just some fucking scum. Uh-uh. Black's Law Dictionary, um... Oh. Exploitation. Act of taking advantage of something. Act of taking unjust advantage of another for one's own benefit. Joe got this from the Black's Law Dictionary. And verbal abuse is extremely ambiguous, okay? As I've told you, my mom doesn't want to hear anything negative against anything that she wants. Like, like as we pointed out, when she, she, she also, you know, what she perceives to be true about herself versus reality. I mean to not allow her to walk Omar anymore. I perceived enough behavior in her being over-medicated and whatnot. As we came to find out, she actually had, um mild pneumonia or two that could have been, somebody told me on the bus, could have been fucking with her equilibrium when she was falling all the time or whatnot, okay? But I'm being mean for not allowing her to walk Omar. I know the truth, okay? And, and the thing, look at with the rabbits. I'm saying negative things regarding, you know, why she shouldn't have rabbits here. She doesn't want to hear it. It's my house, it's my money, I'll do what I want, okay? She would yell at me and upset herself. I don't have to yell. I have to only say something she doesn't want to hear. Let's go back to Auntie's text. Your mother hates anyone who doesn't go along with her crazy fantasies. You didn't cause, you don't cause any of your mom's breakdowns any more than I ever did. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So verbal abuse is extremely ambiguous. Like Joe says, you, 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 can, you yell at someone because out of concern or whatnot. You're not verbally abusing them. But you write down verbal abuse, they're going to think I'm going, they judge doesn't know I'm not going around calling my mom a slut and a whore and get the fuck away from me, you stupid. No, none of that. Okay? Like Joe says, everything's left up to interpretation. Verbal abuse is ambiguous. The Black's Law de de definition, emotional abuse inflicted upon, no, emotional abuse inflicted by one person upon another that causes stress, fear, in, oh, in a way that causes distress, fear, or similar emotions. And everything's left up to interpretation. Verbal abuse may include name-calling, insults, threatening gestures, I'm like, yeah, Joe, none of the above. Excessive, unfounded criticism, humiliation, and denigration. No. Like Joe says, at the end of the day, your aunt doesn't like you, and she's always wanting to poison, you, poison your mom. Always trying to poison your mom again, she too. You can't steal from a joint account, you understand? To use the word steal, you can't steal from a joint account. Why did we have the joint account to begin with, Auntie? Huh? Because you couldn't hand over that money fast enough. You wanted nothing to do with anything anymore. And shortly thereafter, you wanted nothing to do. You didn't even want to be health care proxy anymore. You put all the burden and responsibility on me. And my mom was getting worse and worse and worse. Perjury, Black's Law Dictionary, the act of an act or an instance, the act or an instance of a person's deliberately making material, false, or misleading statements while under oath. Material, this is all Black's Law Dictionary, of or relating to matter having some logical connection with the consequential facts. 
I just repeatedly said throughout our long conversation at the end of the day, my aunt doesn't like me and how we feel is that she wants my mom's estate. But of course that's conjecture. You don't know. You can't prove that. But you can say it, it seems to me that that's what she wants. As I pointed out, Joe, I can't say that she wants my mom's estate. I can't prove she wants my mom's estate. That's conjecture. Okay. Libel is to defame someone in a permanent medium, especially in writing. A defaming something, something, a uh, yeah, defaming, defaming statement expressed in a fixed medium. Come on, go after me for YouTube. Yep, ask me if I care. As long as I can't be put good, do it. Whatever, taking everything from me, do do whatever, do your worst. I'm still not gonna let this sit and let this stand. Nope. Nope. No way. No way. My mom's over-medicated. She's in an extremely vulnerable state, as you guys know. She's on all those meds. The side effects are, are poisoning her brain, you know. They impair her thinking. She, she's confused. And she hates me, but she, I mean, if she, I say anything negative. You think she didn't get all mad and huffy and whatnot about the rabbit thing? Of course she did. There's certain things I have to stand my ground, but in the end, she's like, I'm going to do what I want. Good, do it. The same with the railing thing. Did I say to her, you know, you, you, yeah, I did. Is that mean? Yeah, it is. But I had invested so much time and, and you know, we'd invested money, all my time, going at Home Depot, doing this, cooking dinner all day long for the whole family, you know, and then she wants to not hire a professional she can afford to hire, hire another friend, okay? I was frustrated beyond belief that she was going to do that, you know, it's, why not just stick with these people? They're almost done. Why hire someone new? That's like buying friendship. Is that mean to say, yep, it is. Am I perfect? Nope. But that doesn't mean, you know, like, verbal abuse is, 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 is so ambiguous. The judge can think I'm just going around, you know. I 